hello guys welcome to c learning with new video uh, in this video we will learn about ospf how to configure ospf uh, and uh, what are the area of uh, ospf uh, first of all uh, we will give the ip address to pcs uh, i have already assigned the ip address to pcs and i have i have written the above this is the 1.2 and this is the 4.2 this is the 1.0 network 1.1 and here I define the network. First of all, we will configure the network on routers uh, system view uh, interface g0/0/1 and IP address is 192.168.1.1 and 24. And uh, on this interface 0 .0, 0 0.0, the IP address is IP address is. 192.168.2.1 and 24 and on now we will go to this router and this router contains the network in system view interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and okay system view interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and the ip address is ip address is 192.168.1.2.2.2 okay and 24 is subnet mask and now we will go to next interface interface is 001 and ip address is 192.168.3.2 tools network and 24 is IP address. Now we will go to next router and here are the networks are system view interface G 0 slash 0 slash 0 0 IP address is 0 IP address is 192.168.4.1 and 24 4.1 and 24 and now we will go to this interface IP address is 192.168.4.3.1 uh, ok and 24 here we configure 3.2 and now here we configure so we configure the IP address now we will use like in my previous video uh, we use RIP protocol and uh, now we will use uh, ospf protocol the rip protocol based on the distance vector routing where uh, he he count the maximum hope count uh, if uh, you want uh, if uh, there are two ways for uh, uh, router to, to forward the traffic uh, the rip will choose the shortest path or uh, shortest path it will, it will count the hope counts uh, if uh, there are uh, two router in in a way or if there is three router in a way so it will choose the two routers but in ospf it used that is used based on traffic if uh, one path have the five routers and other path have the two routers and the two routers the path contain two router have the more traffic than the path contain five router so ospf choose the way with the five router because it it uh, uh, based on the link state it uh, see the st uh, traffic of the link based on the traffic of the link so it choose the best path where the short traffic so ospf how to configure ospf now i have assigned the ip address now we will configure ospf how to configure ospf we will go simple quit ospf command ospf1 you can type any uh, you can type uh, number any number so I will type 1 so and then OSPF 1 and area the basic area of OSPF is 0 so 0 area is necessary in all topologies if there is no 0 area the uh, OSPF will not work the basic area is the 0 area so all other areas will connect to uh, area 0 so how many areas can one uh, SPF contain I will show you back area area 
and question mark uh, one ospf contain this number of areas you can create area 1 area 0 uh, is the basic area area 1 2 3 4 and up to this number uh, you can create area in ospf and all this number of area should connect to area 0 it's very necessary and now we will proceed how to now we will give network 192 now uh, configure outer 2 uh, same in uh, rip uh, we give the network 192.168 network which are attached to uh, this router 0, .0, 0 this is the wildcast mask which is the opposite of subnet mask and 0, .0 0.0.255 it means that uh, 0 255 it means that uh, uh, 0. Dot, uh, wait, wait. 0. 0. 0.255. It means that uh, within if uh, 0 means strict match, 192 should be strict in IP address 0. Where is 0? There should be strict match, and where there is 255, it means that uh, this number. This number can vary from 1 to any IP 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1, 1 up to 255. Uh, 255 means uh, this IP can vary. Okay, from at this interface there should there can be many IP. There is 1.2. There uh, maybe can be other PCs which contain uh, 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, 1.254 up to 254. So we should allow all. So that's why we give here 255. So we configured and now here at this interface the network is network is 192.168.2. Uh, so at this interface there is 2.1. So there no other PCs can be connected. So at this this is the network where only two IP are utilized 1.2.1 and 2.2. So we can only allow this specific IP by typing 0.0.0.0. It means that a strict match only this IP can be allowed on OSPF 192.1. So that's why we put 0 here. We can put 255 but no other IP in use because there is only two IPs. So we only allow at this interface only this IP. So this is a strict match. So now we will go to this router this router ospf system view ospf 1 ospf 1 area area 0 area 0 and networks are and the networks are 192.168.2.1 192.168.2.2 which is a strict match so we can put all zeros here sorry network I don't type the network command here uh, network okay network and other network will be uh, okay network 192.168.3.2 and this is also a strict match no other IP will use so we will proceed to this system view ok the OSPF OSPF 1 area 0 and network is 192.168.3.2 uh, and 0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. this is a strict match and uh, here 4.0's network 4.0's network and uh, this is not only one IP but there is a number of IP at this interface there could be many PCs so we should we not have to restrict it on one IP which have to allow number of 
uh, IPs here so that's why we use the command 255 because there could be many PCs not only one PCs or one IP or this because there could be multiple PCs are allowed that's why we are using 255 I think there's my mistake make one mistake uh, there is 3.1 not uh, 2.1 so I think that was mistake now it's uh, configured so now we will ping the PC from PC1 first of uh, ping first of all we will ping the 2.2 uh, .2, which is this this interface and uh, let's see uh, yes it's pinging so now we will ping this interface 3.1 uh, 3.1 so yes it's pinging uh, now we will ping this PC PC2 from PC1 PC2 4.2 uh, yes yes it's pinging so it's this PC is pinging now we will ping PC1 from PC2 so PC1's IP address is 1.1 1 1.2 1 so yes it's pinging so that's how OSPF work so remember one thing this OSPF uh, uh, work on multi area but the area 0 is very necessary so if you are configured multiple areas in OSPF so area 0 is necessary to configure because all other area are connected to area 0 so that's how OSPF work now that's all for OSPF areas so thank you very much hope you like the video